Hi Stampers, it's Amanda Mertz at Did You Stamp Today? And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this super easy faux shutter card. And I originally saw a tutorial by another demonstrator named Colleen Magnus. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, Colleen figured out a super easy way to um, make this style card without doing a ton of die cutting or you know measuring or anything like that. So I made this with my class the other day and I'm gonna do a quick video so they can refer to it and um, you can make it along with us. So let's get started. We're just gonna start with basic black base. I'm just gonna set that aside. So after you get it folded, set that aside, we're gonna do everything, build up the other pieces onto this piece of Coastal Cabana and it's just slightly smaller than the base, so you're gonna end up with a nice border around the outside edge. So we're gonna start with that, and then the next piece we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut out a stitch or a stylus shaped square. And if you don't have square dies, just use uh, just a square, just measure it however, whatever size you want. Um, this one's about two by two, and I'll cut that out and we can get started. Here, we're back with the square and you're gonna simply glue it to your card front or adhere, however, your favorite adhesive. And I'm gonna try to do this without getting my head in the shot. So is that about right? I guess I can use my grid lines. Looks okay. All right, and then next, I have four quarter inch strips of basic black, and this is what we're gonna use to build up the faux shutter look. So, just gonna add a little bit of glue. Then you're gonna start at the top. So I told my customers at my class last um, week that you just start at the 12 o'clock and then you work your way around. So this one, you're just gonna line up right along with the quarter right there. And then move on to the next one. Oops, and that's a little bit too much glue. So let's scrape some of that off. And then we're just gonna turn it Line this one up right here, glue it down, the next one, and I guess I'll just add glue to the last two, won't dry that fast. And this is a great um, layout and kind of a fun technique to use with some smaller images that sometimes are just, you know, they're just kind of tiny to use on a card by itself you know, if you don't really highlight it well. So it's a good one to use. And you'll see, I use the turtle from the Zany Zoo die set. I think that's what it's called. Zany Zoo, yes. I was worried there for a second that I called it the wrong thing. All right, let me find my scissors. And we're just gonna snip off the excess. all the way around like that and there you go you've got your faux shutter card and super easy there's no excess die cutting um, there's no you know you don't have to try to figure out any measurements you just put your square down and then just build the frame with the narrow strips around it. And you could swap out this for other darker colors to make it pop, uh, you know, like a dark part, you know, Blackberry Bliss, or even you could do Christmas colors and do a Christmas image on the inside. So the next thing, let's do our stamping. I'm gonna use some Memento. We're going to gonna stamp my turtle. We're gonna do that on the diagonal, of course, because it's gonna be oriented on the diagonal. All right, we're gonna color him in with blends after he dries for a minute. I'm gonna make this one a happy birthday card. And then since the turtle looks like he's singing or saying happy birthday, we're gonna do some 
music notes up at the top. There we go. Set that one aside. Find the blends. Going to use Lemon Lime Twist Light and Dark and Light and Dark Smoky Slate and Daffodil Delight. Now I have four here because two of my Daffodil Delights are on their way out, but I'm going to do my due diligence to make sure I use every little last drop of these. Yep, see? When the tips start getting like that, it really doesn't color very well anymore. But I think I still have a little bit left on the bullet tip. So let's see. This is the that's the new one. We'll set that one aside. And then this one, that one is also really, really worn. Which happens. I do a lot of classes and we use uh, blends all the time. So it's really, it is part of the business of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Your supplies do get used up, but the good thing is I know someone who I can buy more from. So um, just doing a little bit of highlighting on one side, some shading, and I'm just going to bring some more color over with the light. In. And now for some Lucky Limeade. Let's see. I'm just going to do the light in the little squares. And of course, there's no wrong or right. It's whatever colors you want to use and what looks right for your project. But I like these bright colors with the Coastal Cabana for a birthday card. It could be for a, a child or a masculine birthday card. Um, or anybody, anybody who likes music, or especially turtles. So, and like I said, since uh, this style, the faux shutter, is nice for smaller images. It's also nice for smaller images. They don't take very long to color when you're doing a video, because I'm not a very good colorer, so you probably don't want to watch too much of it. Just gonna use the dark now. Just fill in the edges of the shell and around the top. And the final bit. Use the two smoky slates for the microphone. And there we have it all done and this one we are just going to oops we're going to pop that one up with some dimensionals so it has a little bit of lift I'm gonna do four that's probably overkill but you know you always want it to be secure and Pop it onto your card front. We're gonna do a little bit more glue on the back. There we go, faux shutter card. Let's fill in the inside. I've got a little bit of the, oh, I have to look up the name of it. I keep getting it wrong. Zoo Crew Designer Series Paper. So just in this nice um, star pattern. And we'll just add a little strip of that at the bottom of my insert. You can stamp the music notes if you want to do that. I just, I kind of like the pattern. And then I'm going to do the music notes on... Let's see what happened to my... Oh, here we go. Since we've got all this out. No naked envelopes. That's what I always say. you got to make the outside match the inside. So we'll do 
that, add the insert on the inside, and then the last thing I always do after I get my insert taken care of, I have my hand stamped by stamp, hand stamp created by Amanda Mertz with all my details. And since this is a black base, I'm going to use my craft ink pad. Do that. There we go. Oh, you know what? I did forget something. It looks a little naked, don't you think? A little naked. Let's find some gems. We've got these sparkle gems in lemon lime twist. Just going to add a couple of those down here right around the sentiment. There we go. We're all finished. So that's the faux shutter card and any image works. You can um, put designer series paper on the back instead of coastal cabana and you could get a nice pattern on the back. And I really want to thank Colleen Magnus for um, posting her video originally and I learned how to make it and I was able to share with all of my customers this week. So thank you so much. And um, all details can be on my blog. And if you want to order anything to make this card, all the information is um, and links are on my blog. Uh, did you stamp today? Thanks so much for coming.